is up? I don't see us on the screen, but welcome to the Deviant Gentleman Podcast. My name is Shane Vitko, alongside my co-host, Mr. Tommy Vexed. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Uncle Tommy. <laughs> it is hot as shit in here, and uh, we have a very special guest, um, known for her soap line, uh, Kama RX. <laughs> I like that, known for my soap line. Yeah. Um, hi, hi. Good Honey, to see you. How are you? Welcome. I'm fabulous. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. I like your shirt. Thank you. Yeah. Is that that's the, the anarchist yeah. soap that company? That is my the cause of my fame. Okay. Uh, right there. The anarchist the soap <laughs> Okay. That's good. That is a, that was good um choice in shirt to wear today. Thank you. I did that on purpose. Yeah. So great job. So so soap is new is a new <laughs> entrepreneurial endeavor in your life. It is. That's not actually uh, why people know who I am. Uh, we'll get into that, but we, <laughs> you know, on this show, we like to ask the not obvious questions. <laughs> right, so, right. Right. Yeah. No, f- five months. Yeah. Five, five months. Do, okay. So. so it's and it's. I I got some of the numbers before we went on air, and I'm not going to mm. say them because I don't want to make our viewers very upset. But, <laughs> A lack of earning capacity, yeah. but I feel a little bad too. Uh, so soap is in. Soap is in. All right. Pandemics are in, and soap is in. But okay. so, at what point did you get bored, or what? What drove like you know what? I want to fucking make soap. Okay, mania is the short answer. Um, mm. It's like in that part in Fight Club where when you know when you find out what everything was happening with the dude's uh, psyche, and uh, it was he couldn't sleep, so he makes soap or whatever. Better? Yeah. <laughs> um, so basically the same thing. That didn't thing. turn nope. me on That's at one. All. <laughs> We're counting them down. That didn't turn me on at all. Um, so, yeah, part of it was I was bored. Um, just so Also, there were all those uh, memes and stuff going around. Wait, about, but this was pre-pandemic, right? right? Two weeks okay. before, yeah. Um, so there were all these memes going around about, like, the girl that looks like a troll, and she's like, I spend $3,000 a month on products, and my boyfriend uses the same bar of soap for his balls and his face, and he has perfect skin or whatever. <laughs> yeah, so I've kind of figured maybe there's something to that. Hmm. Um, and so, you know, I was like, maybe it's the amount of products that women use that fuck up our skin. Turns right. out that's 100% correct. There's huh. a reason men's skin is so nice, usually because they don't spend $3,000 on products. Yeah. Now, if you wanted to spend $3,000 on Anarchist Soap Company products, that's that the would... Fucking- <laughs> so that would be acceptable. Did you have to do like research on like what is required? How much of this? How much of that? Did you yeah, break absolutely. out in rashes? Did you go, hey, fucking friend, try this out? Hope you don't <laughs> die. Um, I my, all my labels say tested on humans, not animals. I am mm-hmm. the human. I've uh, all tested right. all my products. Tested on pedophiles, not yeah. <laughs> animals. <laughs> um, <laughs> tested on porn stars. Um, yeah, no. Um. It, it wasn't that hard to figure out. There's a lot of information about soap. I only make goat milk soap. I've never actually made a single batch of normal soap made with water. Um, I've gotten quite a few lye burns. They're real. Um, how, like long does the, how long does the lye have to be on the skin to get the chemical burn? Just touch Pretty it? Pretty quick. Wow, okay. Um, and may, mostly hands or like your arms and shit? It's too? usually, I wear gloves, so it's usually like up in here. And just, is it powder? I don't, yeah. Okay, so it splashes up like while you... yeah. Or well, you're whipping I, that work? Yeah, but I mean, the so the soap, te- it's technically not soap for 24 hours. So even when everything's mixed together, that like soap liquid, if, mm. even if I'm like pouring and a little drop gets on my face, that's mm. a lye burn. And wow. so then you get to pour it into a cast and let it sit? Yeah. I'm assuming? Yeah. All right. So every, and everything's made by you, by Absolutely. hand? Absolutely. Everything is made by me. I do all my own shipping, my own packaging. I, my whole life is soap that at is, this point. Have you had anyone ask you to crazy. make some and not wash your hands first? <laughs> <laughs> um, people have asked me for all types of strange I things. Bet. things. I, I bet. I bet if you made because we <laughs> we were just talking about how the, the weird feet thing. Mm-hmm. If you make like casts of your feet yeah. and sold foot soap, As soap, and it was actually your foot, <laughs> and yeah. people were like, oh my god! I mean, so I get cool. more requests foot. for uh, different body parts than the feet. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, the I but I feel that. like, yeah, how are you gonna get the? Ca- yeah, like I don't know. It's unless you get like totally a doable. yeah, like a like a cast mold yeah, I'm not of your gonna junk. Do that, but, no, yeah. But yeah, you can. I actually okay. have my own toys, so I could just mold the soap over the toy. Wait a second. So you're saying oh, that like we can make official yeah. Deviant Gentleman dick soap? Yeah, you totally could. Bro, this is the next frontier for us. Yeah, what's her name? Gwyneth Paltrow did the uh, Smells Like My Pussy Candles or whatever. Sick. She made a fucking fortune selling really? candles that smell like her pussy. They don't. They don't even. really smell no, like her pussy. No, yeah. because on the website, it's Wait, just the name Gwyneth of the Paltrow? candle. Yeah, because yeah. what was weird is it smelled like a dumpster fire, so that was funny. I was stayed in the, we stayed in the same hotel once, and I saw her in the lobby at the, the Ritz-Carlton in Madrid, and she just gave me the dirtiest look. Oh, yeah. And I was just like, what the fuck are you looking at? And she looked 
You look like, <laughs> and then I didn't like realize trouble, who it was because, like I was telling you earlier, I don't realize who people are, yeah. and then I'm just like, the f- like you know, I'm an I asshole. I treat everybody the same regardless. Yeah. So. I'm like, I shouldn't, you know. First of all, you shouldn't let someone who looks like me into the Ritz Carlton <laughs> to begin with, whatever country it is. I think anyway. I've st- I think I've stopped to take a piss at a Ritz Carlton once, but yeah, they're overrated. That's about it. That was what it um, well, okay. fuck, dude. Let's That's see. We got. So much madness, right? I feel like, has it been a week? Has it been two weeks? But what the fuck? Just more and more shit keeps coming up. So There's a lot going on. Yeah. And it's very exciting. It's very exciting. Pick a spot. Where do you want to start on there? Um, Bill Clinton is a pedo. <laughs> Hashtag Bill Clinton like is a pedo right. is yeah. trending yeah. on Twitter. <laughs> Oh, uh, my man. God. Did you read all 2,024 pages? No, I did not. Okay. I have a team of people who reading are it. reading different sections huh. for me. That's awesome. And, well, not for me personally, but I'm in a study group. Of, of the highlights? Yeah. It's the same people who, like, do the wiki drops, wiki leaks, yeah. and, I'm, and then I'm like, all right, cool. I just don't understand. How is this not enough information for him to have been arrested? I don't understand how come nobody on any of the major news networks is we'll talking about this. the biggest the testimony. Thing that is ha- yeah, yeah, it's, this is the biggest thing. Like, a, like, and just for for just for devil's advocate, imagine if Trump right? was named oh, but funny and taking thing, two underage girls to the pedophile wait, island. Wait, wait, wait! Funny that you He'd mentioned that Gitmo Trump right now. was right? Ma- mentioned zero uh, percent. Actually, he was mentioned. Well, he was exonerated. Only to say that he was he w- that uh, he a had, great guy, basically. Yeah, or that he was I, never there. <laughs> well, yeah, I read that too. I read the yeah. Exhibit D. There was I. I'm, I did. Don't remember I did what page. full uh, sore winner on that one. Did you? Yeah, I went ha 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 ha. Um, ha <laughs> are you and, a, yeah, so you're a, you a are Trump supporter? A Trump supporter. I am voting for Trump. Okay. I don't like the term Trump supporter. Okay. Um, I don't like anything that's all inclusive. Okay. Um, I did that whatever that test is to see your political whatever the fuck I, I side with dot com or whatever. And oh, okay. it, it, majority you look was, at me like I know what the fuck. I that don't is. know. <laughs> I looked at you because you were like over there with that that grin. Sick, sick. Um, <laughs> no, but you know what? I don't have. I'm not all one thing ever. I have. Yeah. I think I th- think freely, and I have different opinions on all types of different issues that test confirmed that as as um, people should right if you agree yeah. with every single aspect of a political party you're either like you really Homicidal. believe all those things or you're ba- brainwashed i don't care what side you're on yeah you yeah. should be able to have yeah. your own thoughts about any given subject so, so do you identify as a moderate or a libertarian or do you ju- are you just like i'm a person and i like this and i don't like this and i don't like that and i like this that's me at the okay. end there yeah, I, very, technically I'm, I'm i uh <laughs> I've always identi- identified as an anarcho-capitalist, uh, oh, but oh. that's become trendy to be a, an anarchist yeah. um, by a bunch of people who don't know what anarchism is. Yeah, yeah. So I no longer want to be associated, except that my uh, <laughs> except my self line. Yeah. yeah to, right. Unfortunately, that's already the name of it. Um, um, so you yeah. will, you do plan to vote, and you're going to vote. I'm for voting. Trump. Yeah, I've never voted before because of that yeah, anarchist shit, <laughs> but I will this year, and I'll vote for Trump um, because pedophiles. Yeah. Um, solely, solely because be, of pedophiles. because save the children. Yeah, that's solely because. Yeah, that doesn't mean that I don't agree with anything else that he's doing, or that I agree with everything else that he's doing. By mm-hmm. far, I don't. Um, so basically, ju- be based on the numbers of uh, of trafficking arrests and pedophile arrests, and the work that that the current administration is doing to uh, handle this massive issue, that people. I, that I've kind of been up on for about six years, but mm-hmm. most people don't know anything, didn't know anything about till recently. Right. That is that is the sway of the vote. It's not because, and I, and this is a, a fair question, because everyone, any of my friends who are not voting for Biden, uh, who are voting for Biden, it's just so that they're not voting. They, for Trump. Exactly. Yeah. They're, well, they're only even voting on that for funny Biden. test I took on isidewith.com, uh-huh. It has like the de- <laughs> like three words of character description for all the candidates, mm-hmm. and Biden's was sense of humor. I, I've seen. <laughs> they had nothing else to say. Uh, is I, anybody voting for Biden because of Biden? I don't. Think well, that's so. what Does I'm saying. I've, I've seen. To offer? I've seen more times than not, and even heard people tell me personally that I'll take a pedophile as my president over Donald Trump. Yeah, I mean my my And that is where we part ways. Yeah, yeah, my my it's funny because about 2 months ago I was in the studio and my producer said that, but then last week he was like I need you to understand that I didn't mean that. And I was like, <laughs> "Oh, so oh, so wow. you're, coming, Convenient. you're coming around now." Right. Now, I mean like, look, this is the thing. I you know, I and I, you know, I I posted a video of me, 
you know, I interact with kids mm -hmm. on tour all the time. Like we have a couple of hit songs. The kids love the band. Mm -hmm. And so you have me who is like, you know, an ex crackhead junkie, alcoholic lunatic, uh, who's, you know, high five. Yeah, high five. <laughs> oh, we, we could turn this thing around. You know, I was 11 years sober and became a sober coach and a philanthropist and the, you know, all these other things that, you know, the miracle of sobriety. And I hang out with kids. Like I go to meet and greets and they win radio things. And I know how to deal with kids. I got nieces and nephews. My friends have kids. I don't, my whole th thing is like, no one is weirded out by the way that Biden interacts with children. Right. That it freaks me out. Right. You know, and it's not like, you know, I'm just like, there are just things that nobody ever explains. I would like an explanation on that. You know, I just know that no grown ma man has ever rubbed my head like that in yeah, my or life or smelled my hair. Yeah. Or like put their fingers in my armpit. Yeah. That was weird. That's really weird. Struck the light Yeah, hairs. he's a fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, that whole thing, yeah. Um, Mom called me a dog face pony so boy. So as far as, so the Bill Clinton got named in this thing. Did you see this video, whether it's real or not, about the FBI that interviewed this kid that said when, and it shows the full interview, and the kid says when he was eight years old, yeah, he was I, on the yacht. Um, I saw the blurred video. But again, it's unverified, right, so right. it's like inadmissible, and you know. And I'm not one of those people who like something comes out, and I'm like, yeah. I mean, I feel like if that was real, I, you can't put something like that out, and this guy's able to walk around. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, who know? We I don't know where this guy is when that video was taken, but it's yeah. interesting. And I think now you're gonna see the floodgates open on accusations now that it becomes see, public. Tom Hanks got a citizenship yeah, in Greece. Greece. Yeah, where, in they, Greek where they citizen. think pedophiles are yeah. uh, not criminal. Well, I mean, Greeks been <laughs> fucking each other since the dawn of time. I it's true. That's why I'm so good at yeah. naming. I'm out, I'm out, my jury is not out is like, is like out on, on Tom Hanks. And it, I have a bias because I'm friends with one of his kids and I'm like... Okay, but mm -hmm. did you see all that stuff with his like mitts and... That, uh, the glove on the ground, yeah. but isn't that yeah, like but just so the thing me, to like mock a fucking where a sprinkler goes or whatever? Yeah, like, he, what wait, are the but, chances? But I mean, in my mind, right? This is the most comforting thought that I have. My the comforting thought is is that Tom Hanks might have gotten involved in some situation and then turned informant, like Catch Me If You Can, and that he's moved to Greece, almost like Julian Assange moved to the Ecuadorian embassy yeah. to seek asylum. If he is, I will apologize to yeah, him yeah, profusely. Yeah. But this I'll, is I'll a, buy but this Express. is what I'm hoping for. Like, so again, I'm optimistic. Listen, it's one of those. Again, I you know I also go off about people fa false accusations. People, I mean, yeah, the Me yeah. Too movement. Everybody calling everything rape, calling everybody a rapist. I yeah. don't mean to come across that way. When there's enough little things about a specific yeah, yeah. person who is in power and making some kind of uh, contribution to the world, I think they should be looked at. Sure. Um, I'm called a conspiracy theorist for questioning things. Well, um, everyone is. I get right. that. I get that too. I've been threatened to be canceled by right. so many major. I'm uncancelable. Corporation. Yeah. Well, try <laughs> me. <laughs> try me, bitches. Well, that's the thing. They like. I, that's the thing. Like I, this happened with Markergate <laughs> when I. I basically. I mean, I destroyed Black Lives Matter, not the movement, but the corporation, right. within six minutes with a bunch of kids' pens. And destroyed it, and it got 37 million views in four days, right? And I almost got canceled for that. And then everybody got mad at me again last week because, so this is fucking ironic. So my attorney sent me this video of these doctors talking about hydro, uh, hydroxychloroquine. The front line. <laughs> yeah, and I, po and I posted it, and I was like, wow, this is crazy. Like, I'm like you know, whatever. And then I, I went and worked out, and the video went... <laughs> From twenty thousand views to eight point nine million, <laughs> like, I'm like, oh my god! And it was everywhere. It was everyone had it all over Facebook. It was and it was at seventeen million. And then the, the president retweeted it. And then the next day, I got the call. Like, if you don't, if you if you don't stop this, we're canceling you at the radio station. And da da da. And I'm just at this point, I'm just like. I don't fucking care anymore. Yeah, bring it. I don't. Well, I just don't care. Like, what are you? Principles do? matter. Um, yeah. And people who have principles 
uh, should not be swayed by the threat of being canceled by society for yeah. sticking to their principles. If you believe something, you should say it. Well, look, uh, well, no matter things, what, things. Things. I don't that think video, that science should do you... not be allowed to be discussed. We Just should because... not. People are like, oh, you're, you're putting out false information that's putting us all in danger. Okay, cool. Well, if the fucking virus was so dangerous, why are we all not dead? Right. Like my friend, Your little my, cloth one, mask I, I keep going saying. back to my anonymous buddy. He's had sex with 200 women during COVID, okay? Sometimes three at a time. This dude's a beast, okay? Dan Blazarian should be taking fucking notes from this guy. He has to have a fucking cough, okay? A fucking cough this whole time. I'm like, listen, when you get sick, I'll believe that I'm in danger. Right. And, and until, like, until then, we should be allowed to have conversations. We with shouldn't physicians. Be Hold on. To have so since yeah, yeah. since 